Okay, there we go. Hi, it's Charles. I'm going to be talking about Arbitron personal meter. What Arbitron is, is a, um, it's a Nielsen ratings. So if you've heard of Nielsen ratings where it's for radio, TV, broadcast, whatever, um, they provide ratings. They let the radio stations and the TV stations know what kind of people are watching, how many people are watching, and what times of day they're watching, age groups, stuff like that. The way they used to do this is they would send out questionnaires to people. You'd keep like a a journal that would you'd basically write down what you listened to, what you watched. Uh, they would usually send these out with cash, like five dollars, and it would say, "Hey, here's five bucks in advance. Thanks for filling out this journal." People would say that could be faked, and it could. Um, then they came out. You'll probably find on YouTube there was some like scanner devices you would barcode scan to say you were watching certain things. There again, it would be easy to fake, you know, but it's something they were able to use. Um, and the reason radio stations and TV stations want this information is because they can go to advertisers and say, hey, we've got more people than whatever station, and they can charge more for advertising. So about uh, from what i understand around 2012 arbitron came out with this i've got some of the information blocked off it is a meter and what this meter does looks about like a pager what it does is it hears frequencies in the broadcast that you can't hear but um tv stations and radio stations put that into their broadcast it basically lets the meter know what station it is don't know what kind of information it is if it's like just beep beep beeps or if it actually is but whatever this thing picks it up so when you're wearing this any kind of whether you're watching the tv or listening to the radio if you're within earshot of the tv or the radio it can hear it um it does have a little light on here one of the things you had to do is keep this thing moving and i don't mean just move 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 it supposedly is based on human movement. So if you're wearing it and generally moving around, not just sitting still, it'll keep that light on. If it sit, if it sits still for more than 15 minutes, the light goes out. You would get a certain amount of points per day just for wearing it. If you weren't wearing it, you didn't get the points and they wouldn't count towards your payment. And the payment ended up being, it was about $5 a week. That's what it worked out to. Um, some people would say, I'm not going to wear that thing for less than a dollar a day. For me, it was kind of fun. It was like a pedometer. I would see how many points I had at the end of the day. Um, and also you could sort of use it as a flashlight. If you push the button, it would light up. Now it does work off cell data. So one of the things you would do is if you had to turn it off, you would hold down on the button. I don't know if it's going to happen until a little blocked cell phone would come up. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Now normally this thing, oh, here we go. A little blocked cell phone, if it'll focus. So, and then to get it back on. Now, from the way I understand, it used cell phone signal. And I think this little beacon had something to do with it. I don't know if the beacon, I'll flip out. I don't know if the beacon let this thing know that it was at your house or if this thing used this thing to send signals somehow. I'm not sure, you didn't wire them up, it's just the way it was. This actually has like a little micro USB on it there and get it to focus and a little pocket clip that you could take off so you're not supposed to talk about the meter if you're wearing it if somebody asks you hey why are you wearing this thing are you a dealer or something you could say hey, it's a pedometer, you could say I'm part of a scientific study or whatever, or you could just tell them, hey, it's Nielsen ratings. 
Um, supposedly, if you talked about this and Nielsen found out, they would take you out of the program, which we were in the program about two years, which from what I understand is normal. Um, everybody in the household over the age of six, so my wife and I and my daughter when she turned six got one. Um, didn't make any noise except when you plug it in to charge it, it would make a beep to let you know it was plugging in. Or if you lost it, you could dial a toll-free number and say, hey, I lost it. And they would send a signal to it and it would beep to help you find it. So otherwise it would not make any sounds or anything. So that's pretty much it. If you see somebody wearing one of these, you'll know what it is. And like I say, it's just one of those things and you don't know anything about unless somebody tells you. And since you're not supposed to talk about it, nobody will tell you. <laughs> anyway, it was kind of fun being part of it. Uh, and five bucks a week extra worked out. Anyway, kind of different video for me. So I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching. See you next time.